When it comes to cleaning perch, there's many ways to go about it. This method is one of my favorites, mainly because it's the best way I've found to use the most meat possible, and secondly, it's really quick. First step is to slice just behind the pelvic fin, all the way down to the spine, but don't cut through the spine. Next, working with the tip of your knife, slice up to the vent. Grab the head with one hand and the body with your other and twist the head until the spine breaks. Then just pull the head with all the guts attached right out. You're now left with an almost fully clean perch. Now flip the perch over so the spine is resting in your hand and the tail away from you. Carefully cut just behind the anal fin until you hit the bone. Then pull the whole fin and bone out with your hand. This is something you're not going to want to eat. Flip the perch back over, working with the tail still facing away from you. Get the tip of your knife in on one side of the spine. Get the knife as close as you can to the spine. Making a shallow cut, work all the way to the back, just past the soft dorsal fin. Now do the same on the other side. After the other side is done, all you have to do is grab the soft dorsal fin and just pull. The spiny dorsal fin will pull right out with it. Now, if I was going to freeze these, I would keep the skin on, which helps against freezer burn. All I would do is simply give it a quick wash and then put it in a plastic bag. But since we're going right to cooking, I'm gonna peel the skin off. Working with your thumbs and fingers, work the top corner away from the meat, then simply pull all the way down to the tail. Then repeat on the other side. And now you have a fully clean perch ready for cooking. Now don't worry about the bones because after cooking, the meat literally pulls right away from the bones. But for those of you who like to get every ounce of meat off your fish like I do, here's how you get your perch wings off. Simply grab the head you previously cut off and working upside down, grab the little piece of skin that connects to the bottom of the gills. Just pull straight up and the fin should come right off. After a little wash, this whole piece can be cooked and the meat and even the fins themselves can be eaten. When you're ready to cook, fill a cast iron pan with about one inch of high temp oil, something like sunflower or canola, and put your burner on medium high. I'm gonna keep this cook really simple. I've created a dredge by seasoning some flour with some garlic salt seasoning and a little paprika. When your oil gets to 350 degrees, it's time to cook. First, season your fish with salt and pepper on each side. It's important to get the salt and pepper right on the meat and not just rely on the seasoning in your dredge. And you're gonna wanna make sure both sides are seasoned. Next, it's time for a dip in the dredge, which is gonna help create a crispy exterior. Make sure the fish gets well coated on the outside and inside before shaking off any excess dredging. Being careful of the hot oil, slowly add the fish to the pan, dropping the fish away from you. You're gonna wanna cook these on one side for a couple minutes, just until they start to get some nice coloring. Then flip them over and cook for another couple of minutes. When they're all done, remove and make sure to season them with a little more salt while they're still hot. When it comes to the wings, cook them the exact same way. After a little dredging, cook them in the hot oil for a couple of minutes on each side until they're golden brown. When everything's done, I like a fresh squeeze of lemon and a little hot sauce on my fish. And just like I mentioned earlier, the meat can be easily pulled right off the bones, leaving you with a boneless filet without any meat waste. And to show you I wasn't lying when it comes to the fish wings, you get a good bite off each wing. Just pull and the meat comes right off with the fin. And personally, I like to eat both the meat and the fin itself. It's almost like a fish chip. And that's how I like to clean and cook perch. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our page and follow us on Facebook and Instagram.